Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Big Brigade. Welcome back to my channel. This is Mornings with Jesus, our daily devotional. And this one is for Tuesday, March 19th. Now on Tuesdays, I read a prayer list first and then I read the devotional. So I'm going to read the prayer list real quick and then I'll get to the devotional. The prayer list goes as follows. Jody Fink, Krista Sorrells, uh, Kelly Muneer, Cindy and Robert with Pups and Crochet, Linda Coulter, Linda Coulter and Family, Marsha Norton and Family, Lisa the Grammy, Deborah Hypes, Camper 14, also known as Tina, Llama Mama Kayla and Big Daddy, Sheena Sorrells and Destiny Sorrells, Mama G Gear, Linda, just another crochet sister, uh, Rachel Crawley, Flynn, pa Paula and Don Mahoney, Nakima Bias, Dwayne and Michelle, Karen Woodward, Annette Delaney, Brandy Showalter, Vonda Str Strausser, Serena, Debbie Wheeler, Debbie A. Afton, Sarah in England, Devin Jenkins, Sher Cherie Carr and family, Crystal, Mary Jane, De uh, Jacob and family, Terrell and David Owens, Dee Dee Christensen and John Warden, Angela Brenham, Michelle J, Dwayne Roberts, Eva and Johnny Williams, Ariel, Rick Harris, Shannon the Spoonie Stitcher and family, Angela Turner and family, Dana Clark, Thrift and Stitches, Tamara, Gl Glendala McCorkle, Carolyn Cartwright, Deanna Young and family, Jill and Jonathan, Sheila Emerson, Rochelle Smith and family, Melanie, Donna R., Lisa, Eric, and Diana, Mir Miriam Fer Fernandez and family, and Bonnie Myers. Okay. If you would please remember those folks. When you say your prayers, I'm sure they would appreciate it as well as I would. So our devotional starts with a Bible verse and goes as follows. What a wretched man I am. Who will rescue me from this body that I sub that is subject to death? Thanks be to God who delivers me through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 7 verse 24 and 25. Our inspirational story. While trying to educate myself on nutrition, I recently came across an article that encouraged readers to eat foods that would give life to their bodies. That particular wording stung. I know I need to eat healthier, but my f favorite foods are often salty, creamy, chocolatey, buttery, fluffy, and caffeinated. I know that pure water and raw fruits and vegetables are good choices, and when I choose them, I'm completely satisfied. But I give in to eating what's not so healthy for me more often than I would like. My lack of willpower leaves me feeling defeated. The Apostle Paul captured his feelings of hopelessness in Romans 7. Instead of doing the good things he wanted to do, he did the evil things he didn't want to do. Romans 7:19. He described this struggle as an internal war between his mind so that so so desperately wanted to follow the spirit and his body that was destined to sin and death romans seven twenty three but even in the midst of that deep despair, Paul had hope in Jesus Christ, no amount of willpower adjust, attitude adjustments, or nutrition advice will compel me. To make the right food choice of all the time each day i battle between what i want to eat and what i know i need to eat no matter how much i try to change my bad choices i can only get so far on my own my real hope for healthy change is through the life-giving spirit of jesus christ within me erica loins faith step next time you have to make a choice consider all of the options you have and what you really want to achieve then ask jesus to help you make the healthy life-giving choice it's really hard to break bad eating habits it really is <laughs> trust me i know <laughs> why do you think i had that surgery anyway please remember that i love you and so does jesus and i will see you on the next one bye now